lawyers can really think about how to avoid agencies from exploiting domestic helpers. One example is they can really think about the agency fees that they pay. But another thing is, I think, the first time we were paying was about 3,000-4,000 pounds, I don't remember. But I know that that time, the mother was very high. And now they say that because they can't pay the mother, all the money is going to be paid for the mother's money. So they can pay the mother's money. 咁即係我都寧願係我哋俾得起嘅咧，我哋即係幫姐姐俾埋嗰個做法咯。Of course, naturally, as consumers, a lot of employers would think about finding an agent which charge the lowest fees. But in reality, what happens in the background is that domestic helpers end up paying those fees. In Hong Kong, employment agencies have the right to charge domestic workers up to 10%. Of the first month's salary, if they charge more, it's a malpractice. It's very easy, actually, if the employers really, really want a good employment agencies. Just ask a question: whether the agencies charge fees from the workers. Skills matching is important because you have to find the right person for your family. Take a bit more time to find someone right before you actually, like, try and then, you know, stop the contract and then try again. I have the conviction that. This is right. Is I need to meet the helper, and for the helper to be able to meet us at our home, just to see the the work environment.